Hello everyone, it is I, the Reverend Godfather, main host and frontman from Lone Cook Mafia Podcast. Links to our uh, audio and versions are down in the description below. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, you can also watch, uh, listen to our podcasts every Monday here on our YouTube channel. But where we are right now, we are at the ECBRO Second Annual Virginia Bigfoot Convention. That's right. Uh, we are at the Bigfoot Convention right now. It's not really the biggest convention out there, but still, it might be one of the most unique conventions that are, is in the scene right now. Uh, I want to show you around a little bit. I don't know how much we are able to show. Uh, right now, we are allowed to record some of the panels that are out there. Uh, that's being uh, presented to the public, as you can probably hear one of them right now. Uh, so stay tuned to our podcast locations and uh, also on YouTube for those panels. Now, we thank them so much for it. We want to thank Daniel Benoit and the staff here at the hotel for letting us hook up to their system to record better audio for all of you for these panels. So I'm going to stop the recording here and I'm going to turn the camera around and show you a little bit what's going on here at this particular conference because again it's not the biggest but it might be one of the most unique. That's right, Bigfoot, Yeti, Sasquatch. A lot of people believe in this uh, particular cryptid if you will and having a conference like this allows a lot of research to get there, get together, compare notes, uh, and even give crafts that, like you see here. And But there's a lot of researchers around sharing information and trying to, I wouldn't say prove that Bigfoot exists, uh, but a lot of people like Daniel Benoit try to debunk a lot of what a lot of people do say uh, that's out there. You know, you know someone here who made you know, ginger spots. And speaking of the devil, here is Daniel Benoit, the nice gentleman who's putting on this uh, event. What can you tell us about this event for those who are not familiar with this type of event? Well, I'll tell you what, this event is for, uh, for the whole family, regardless of your believer, skeptic, non believer, whatever you may be. What can you tell? Um, I'm sorry to interrupt you. What can you tell us about this type of event in regards to uh, Bigfoot research? You said even though it's a family-friendly event. Well, one thing with these kind of events, you will hear different views and opinions on the uh, subject itself. Um, you hear different stories. I mean, it's um, there's a lot that's unexpected that you never know what you might hear, um, but you will definitely learn something. You'll take something away from this event. As we said in our podcast many months ago, um, and I'll say here in the video that you're not really, even though you might be a believer, you tend to debunk a lot of what's on the internet. Absolutely. The reason being is because I look at things more scientifically and I also, uh, I'm very objective. I believe in the truth. The truth should be, uh, you know, sought out at, at all costs. Can conventions like this help with that type of either debunking or proving of potential evidence that might be out there? Uh, can it help? Um, perhaps uh, one of the main reasons why we hold these events is for awareness. Trying to get everybody familiar with the subject, who we are, what we do. There's, uh, also, there's people out there that has experiences and just don't know who to turn to. And that's why we throw ourselves out there openly like this. Thank you, Daniel. Oh, very well, uh, very much. Thank you. <laughs> And we have uh, one of the many researchers and authors here. We're, right now, we're, we'll probably be speaking a, a lot more with the researchers and out there. We don't really want to interrupt conversations, and we'll probably attach or include a lot of videos with um, a lot of folks. I think they're a YouTube channel. For the folks out there, just want to, because their YouTube channel, want to give them a shout out on ours. 
So I don't know, man. It's, it's, we have a local independent brewery here that is putting out a brand new beverage and it's pretty much a box of chaos and I think they have a yeah they have a squash ale presented here today and a little bit of a fun setup get your picture taken and as always we have at this event because they have the film Bigfoot uh, promoting their film Mark Byrne Hello. and he'll he's one, probably one of the panels will be recording today and he's more than welcome to the audio and anything else we might capture today okay. for to help him out so I love that. So, uh, can you tell us a little bit about the movie Book Bigfoot? Sure. Uh, Bigfoot is a, is a horror comedy, and uh, the complaint I hear about most horror comedies is a time of horror. So the idea in this film was to break it up into two separate segments, so we make sure we have enough horror. And we also have the comedy covered, because really the comedy is the first idea I had for this, is making a parody of Finding Bigfoot and other uh, Bigfoot searching type TV shows. So that was really the first stuff I had as a, as a concept. And then once we decided to go forward with the movie and make it, then uh, I wrote the part for the horror film. And so I tried to keep them separate so that the horror people get their part. But the comedy is important yeah. too. And we've had really good positive. Helps the medicine go down, right? Yeah, oh yeah. People have been positive about the comedy, so I was always worried about that. Where, where can we find this, this uh, movie. Well, you can find it. Uh, the easiest way is to come to absurdproductionspictures.com and click on the link. We'll provide a link down in our description on yeah, YouTube for this. Yeah, that's the easiest way. Now, the other way is you can search on Amazon for it. But you'll find 100 Bigfoot movies on Amazon. So, so yeah. folks at home, uh, follow the link. That way you, you can get it quicker and easier. That's the easiest way. Right now, we just have it available on DVD. We don't have a streaming uh, alternative right now. We may, we may go with that, but it would be next year. No problem. So right now, folks, this is kind of the cover you gotta um, look for when you're looking for it, and it's done. Um, uh, it was who did the cover for this? Uh, Rusty Gilligan. Rusty Gilligan. I could for, sorry, Rusty, if you're watching this, I couldn't think of your name, but I wanted to give you proper credit for the cover, and this is Absurd Productions. So you guys at home can see the proper spelling for it, even though we will be providing a link down below. Some of the that I and one of this is Rusty's uh, alternate poster. The alternate poster for it. And folks, you might recognize this fine gentleman here. <laughs> Matt Burns. You have to pay him to interview me now. Right? <laughs> we, know you, we know you work in beer. No, I don't work in beer. He works in energy drinks. <laughs> no, no, You're I'm easily not. bribed, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I used to, yeah, I used to be able to beer. So they, did you see these are props from the film? These are the feet that were actually worn in the film. Is this a Squatchy? This is our, ma our mascot, Squatchy, and then behind him is the arm from the... Uh, worn by Sonya Thompson. Yeah, from Sonya Dead. Thompson from The Walking Dead. This was her arm in the film. Now, how did it get off the body? You'll have to watch the film. Yeah, that's right. You have to watch the film. We will not be pirating the film, where, even though we would do an Uncle Joe copy, we will not do it because... Pirated some phone or anything's possible. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anything's possible. I, I couldn't believe that when I saw that. I was like, oh my lord. It's funny, we, it's funny when I showed Steve. <laughs> and the thing is, let me get it's on YouTube. Oh, no, so I guess I've already watched it before. Now you can watch it before. At the time, you couldn't. At the time, it was right. around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's totally new. And I got a lot of friends that are in that. Of course, Steve's a good friend of mine, too. They got made that. And uh, we're still waiting on the sequel. We've been waiting on that for a few years. <laughs> Again, life happens when you have to get married, have a kid, all that stuff. That's right. It's the life of low-budget films, right? Right. <laughs> well, we want to step inside for a few minutes and give that a quick look around. So uh, we'll probably speak to you in a, a little bit. Let's go through here. Here we have Zach's presentation. 
And I Four, we're reporting for you. Over Kroger and Walmart, we got no delicious apples, so we scattered them around. And we have the sea spotters here. About 50 to 100 yards around the perimeter. This is Zach Smooth. Well, we was hoping we'll to probably to speak to Zach a little bit later. We have another the guys from North Carolina doing their YouTube channel. We'll probably get with them later. They're busy filming right now. So we have ECBROs, but some of their stuff. I left it out there for about two weeks, and I would go back and I would check it every so often. And it stayed there. All the apples around it were gone, but five apples that I left inside the uh, basket was here. untouched. I went back to go pull it after about two, three weeks, and Just I found the tree that was we'll sitting in with these over, folks, but like this, and pinned underneath the log. Now that tree, whenever uh, I found it bent over. We're kind of back at the start right now. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching the video and a little bit of a walkthrough. The reason why I kind of cut it off at the end there is because I want you guys and gals out there to listen to his full panel that we will be posting soon on our uh, where we release our podcast. So check that out. Wait for it. We'll let you know in our atypical social media outlets when his panel is posted. It's going to be very good quality because, thank, again, thanks to the uh, hotel, we're able to hook up to their system and get it even better quality audio for all of you. So uh, I just want to thank you all for watching. If you ever get a chance, we'll, we'll be sharing. If Daniel manages to do this next year, we'll be share, good chance we'll be sharing the event to all of you. We do encourage you to come out to an event like this because it's very interesting and good chance to be very informative too. You heard Daniel speak in regards to what his goals are and everything else. So I want you all to take care. Stay tuned for the next video. We'll be probably be getting a little bit more coverage and there'll be additional videos more to come later on. So thank you. Links to a lot of places like Absurd Productions, where to get our um, podcast are going to be in the links um, below. So check there. So stay tuned. And I am out.